We live in data hungry times. Uh, users want more data more often and are spending more time searching for it. As a developer of the uh, next great social application, this might seem a perfect match for your business plan, but unless you construct your networking requests the right way, your uh, business plan might be a huge flop. My name is Colt McCandless, and unknown to most developers, each individual networking request can have a load of performance problems for their users. At its core, networking performance is about reducing the amount of time between when the user wants data and the networking returns it. And there's a ton of things that influence that variable. For example, uh, bandwidth, latency, uh, cellular connection speed, uh, small mammals, apparently. These are the typical things that users know about and generally understand when it comes to networking. But there's also a second set of performance concerns that developers have to be aware of, which are a little bit more pragmatic. Uh, for example, using the cell radio for networking is the number one killer of battery performance for mobile devices. And the more data you're transferring generally results in costs and charges for users. Uh, see, most of the time, folks on limited bandwidth devices don't appreciate you bringing down two gigabytes of image data for your social media app. But in the end, this all boils down to two key things that developers need to focus on. Number one, reducing the amount of time you keep the radio active, and number two, reducing the size of the data that you're fetching. Now, lowering the request count is actually a complex equation, but uh, for the sake of sanity, you can generalize it into three primary buckets. Firstly is the stuff the user asks you to do, so like uh, update now. Secondly is the stuff that the server needs to update you about, like a returning response or a letting you know that there's new social data available. And thirdly is the stuff that needs to be uploaded frequently, like uh, uploading analytics or checking device location or uh, something else that's interesting. Now the second two categories are really the prime candidates for optimization. For example, you should never, ever, 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 ever pull the server regularly for updates. Uh, you're basically just wasting bandwidth and battery for the server to tell you that nothing's changed. Instead, it's a better idea to leverage other services like Google Cloud Messaging, which will let the server signal the app when there's new content. This will reduce the amount of battery churn the phone is doing, as well as reduce the overall number of server responses that you need to worry about. And uh, for those situations where cloud push can't be used, it's critically important to reduce the frequency that those requests are made. Uh, for example, rather than pulling the server every five seconds, asking for data, try to use a back off pattern to reduce the number of requests and uh, get mostly the same results. And uh, rather than letting your requests be strung out over time, try to batch them together so they happen in short bursts to optimize for an active cell radio, which of course will reduce battery waste. And uh, even try to think about prefetching your data so that you can reduce the need for executing future requests when you can do them now. Now, stringing all of these optimizations together is a surefire way to reduce the number of overall requests, which will do wonders for battery life and costs for your users. And the good news is that you can update your app to adopt these patterns without having to write a massive amount of code. GCM Network Manager is a Google Play Services API which helps to schedule network-oriented tasks and handle batching for you. Uh, this greatly simplifies the implementation of common patterns such as waiting for uh, network connectivity, network retries, and exponential backoff. Basically, all the good stuff you need with a single helpful API. Now, of course, the second large perf target is reducing the size of the data in your requests, uh, which as far as problems go, it's kind of a personal favorite of mine now. Let's see if we can get all of this on one side, shall we? Uh, firstly, watch the compressor head series of videos so that you understand more about data compression in general and the algorithms that make up the science. Then, make sure you take the time to read my article on image compression and go through and be hyper aggressive about the quality and format of the images you're sending from the servers. Remember, smaller is always better. Oh, uh, and if you're a game developer, then check out the texture wrangling talk or the crabby image format to get some better results for ideal textures. And uh, once that's done, go back and check out my GZ Zip is not enough talk to get a better understanding of lossless compression for text-based data. Uh, there's, a, there's an article on that too, uh, followed of course by a hard, clear look on how often you're sending around XML and JSON packets, which uh, hopefully will depress you and you'll realize that you shouldn't be sending around raw text data and instead should be leveraging protobufs or flat buffers formats, which I got a video on that too. I talk a lot about compression. <laughs> Anyhow, if you're ever wondering how your app is using or abusing the network, make sure to spend a lot of time getting familiar with the networking tool inside of Android Studio. It'll show you how often you make requests, the size of those requests, and how long it took to complete the round trip. Basically, if uh, something's going wrong, this tool is the first step in tracking it down. 
But as we all know, this is just the beginning. For a deeper discussion on any of the topics I just rambled on about, check out the rest of the Android Performance Patterns content. And don't forget that there's a whole horde of developers out there solving the same perf problems as you. So stop by the Google Plus community and ask advice when you get stuck. Anyhow, keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, perf matters.